It's a brand new season in Warzone and there is plenty of new content to go over. Season 6 is here and across the season we can look forward to two new guns, two new operators, a big new map addition in the new subway system, new loot, new modes and of course a new battle pass. Plus a new night mode Halloween event on the way called Haunting of Verdansk. I'm also going over new multiplayer changes as well, let's take a look at everything that's new in Warzone in Season 6. First, I know many of you hate videos that stretch out the info just to reach 10 minutes. I never make a video longer than is necessary, but my views take a big hit because of it. It will really help me out then if you like, comment and share whatever you can. And most importantly, watch the entire video to help fight the pesky YouTube bots. Thanks guys. First, the download size is around 20 gigabytes and close to 57 gigabytes on PC. But once the update is out, however, everyone will have to download another seven gigabyte update. Let's start in Warzone with the new subway system. Get around in Warzone in a flash with the recently opened subway system known as the Metro in game. And this dynamic fast travel system combines existing points of interest with new transportation. At one of the number of open Metro stations around the city, squads can move around via staircases to find potential item spawns all the way to the subway's platform. Once there, squads can catch a ride on subway trains, which will whisk them off to the next station in seconds. So it works as a fast travel system and not like the train system. Despite its retro interior, the subway system boasts incredible safety standards. It will not travel to a station that falls outside the safe area during battle royale matches, nor move a single inch if there is any conflict aboard its cars. Otherwise, fighting in and around the station is fair game, making these new and updated locales prime spots for ambushes. So that is a major change coming to Warzone in the way of the map, but there are new game modes as well for Warzone Armored Royale. This fast paced high action battle royale variant gives every squad member an armored cargo truck, complete with a turret and plenty of armored plating. Squad members can respawn if their truck is still in one piece, but once the squad's vehicle disappears, so does their ability to return to the fight. The last squad standing wins regardless of whether their truck has rolled out of repair shop or has its parts scattered around where we're danced. Lastly, weapon rotation, Verdansk receives a new shipment of weaponry that's now scarred around the map on the ground or in supply boxes. A combination of familiar armaments and new blueprints will be a part of the more streamlined Season 6 weapon rotation, which includes 6 common, 10 uncommon, 13 rare, 18 epic and 24 legendary variants. So that is what to expect for the loot pool in Season 6. Let's move on to multiplayer then and there is 4 free maps for the season. Station, a picturesque rural Castovia train station, serves as the backdrop to the latest gunfight arena. Broadcast has been added to the 6v6 core mode. This large multiplayer map introduced in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare now has a prime time slot in Season 6. Maelster Tank Factory, the larger of the two core multiplayer maps, so it's added in for 6v6 and 10v10 play. The map will change its playability dimensions depending on the size of the lobby. And last, we have Verdansk Riverside, the new Grand War map. Once unlabeled landmark on the in-game tack map, Verdansk Riverside is a suburb that lies across the frozen Gora River from the Verdansk International Airport, with its northern border defined by cliffs that eventually lead to the Arklov Peak military base. As well as the new maps for multiplayer, we have new modes. Kill Streak Confirmed. This Kill Confirmed variant comes charging in with multiple changes concerning kill streaks. These can only be earned by collecting enemy dog tags, However, your streak won't reset on death, so you'll want to rush for tags as fast as possible to earn your kill streak. Gun Game Team Deathmatch. As the name states, this mode combines the random weapon assortment of Gun Game with Team Deathmatch. Pick your loadout for perks and equipment, then get ready to use whatever is handed out to take down the opposition. HQ Firefight. This twist on headquarters awards team score for both holding the objective and earning kills, almost like a team deathmatch. And we have hardpoint kills and hills. Similar to HQ Firefight, this mode awards team scores for playing the objective, which is holding the hills, as well as earning kills. There will also be plenty of new trials and challenges to try out in the season. Next we have the Season 6 Battle Pass system and it's one of the most unique collections of content yet and it all starts with 20 tiers of free content available for all players within Modern Warfare and Warzone. Just by playing the game players can unlock a few weapon blueprints, cosmetic content for their profile and the gunsmith and a few hundred Call of Duty points. On top of these new items there are a few new songs to war tracks and there are five new tracks altogether for you to collect. The two biggest parts of the free battle pass are of course the two new weapons. This time around it's the SPR-208 Marksman Rifle which we will unlock at tier 15 
and at tier 31 you will unlock the ASVAL Assault Rifle. For the Marksman Rifle, this is a bolt action Marksman Rifle and it comes as one of the most accurate weapons in its class and with a breadth of customization options. From alternate ammo choices to bolt assembly changes and more, no matter how the weapon is configured it's a powerful yet mobile tool for a Marksman on the go. For the Assault Rifle, it's the 13th assault rifle that's being added and is a rare Soviet powerhouse chambered in subsonic 9x39mm ammunition and is pre-equipped with an integral suppressor. Combined with the weapon's high rate of fire, the ASVAL is built for stealth, accuracy and high penetration, all on a highly configurable platform. Now for anyone who purchases the full battle pass, there will be 100 tiers of battle pass items to unlock, including the two new operators. The first operator is Farah. Immediately unlock her Halmasti skin upon purchase and complete her operator mission to get her Jin and her Unbroken Will skins as well. The second new operator is Nikolai. Get his arms dealer skin when you unlock him originally and you will get the Motherland and Karkadu skins available via his operator mission. And if that wasn't enough, other battle pass items include the Minotaur operator skin and mission, Gilded Arm Epic Assault Rifle Blueprint, XP boosts, other skins and blueprints and more highlights throughout the battle pass including the VSS Legendary Assault Rifle Blueprint, Grizzly End Cargo Truck Skin, Season 6 Emblem, over two dozen skins including those available through additional battle pass missions that cover a wide range of operators across both factions including On the Rocks for Gaz, Off Grid and the Yanisi Bale skin and also you can unlock a pet bat that will be your finishing move. In terms of weapon blueprints, as well as the innocent lost melee weapon, there will be three handguns, three SMGs, three assault rifles, two shotguns, three LMGs, three marksman rifles, and one sniper rifle blueprint to unlock this season. And get a fresh Halloween inspired exterior for four different Warzone vehicles. So guys, that's a lots and lots of new stuff this season in the Battle Pass, and expect even more with Halloween themed items that will be coming to the store soon in terms of blueprints and other cosmetics. And that is to go with the new Warzone Halloween event, which will be starting on October 20th called Haunting of Verdansk. And we don't have a lot of info on that, but if the leaks are anything to go by, it will involve the zombies and will be set at night. Guys, that is a rundown of everything that is arriving in Season 6. I'll be back tomorrow as I think there are new patch notes to go over for the Season 6 update. But let me know in the comments what you think of the new season. Like and subscribe for more Warzone updates as they happen. And I will catch you guys next time.